help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org Link in the description Recited uh, Surat uh, Nuh today And in it we learned that the Prophet Nuh told his people فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُ رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا Nuh said to his people to repent to Allah and seek his forgiveness. فَقُلْتْ أَسْتَغْفِرُ رَبَّكُمْ Nuh said to his people, do istighfar to your Lord. He is indeed the one who forgives. And then Nuh alayhi salam gave multiple blessings when you do istighfar. What happens when you do istighfar? يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا Allah will send the skies with plenty of rain. يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ Allah will increase your money. وَبَنِينَ And your children. وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارٍ Allah will give you rivers. وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا I missed it up. وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ Allah will give you gardens. وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا And Allah will give you rivers. Now this ayah is used as we all know to indicate that istighfar also has worldly blessings. As we are all aware, this ayah is very clear that istighfar is not just something that we do to forgive our sins. It is also something that is done to procure blessings. And it is also something that is done to prevent harm from coming to us. So istighfar, today's short khatira, some tangential benefits. First and foremost, what exactly is it? Istighfara means to ask for maghfira. Istighfara means to ask for maghfira. And maghfira means, ghafara means to cover up so that the item that you've covered up will not be harmed and harm others. Ghafara means to cover such that the item that you cover, it's not going to be harmed and it will not cause harm. You are protecting. And that's why in Arabic, the helmet is called mighfar because it's protecting your head. It's called a mighfar. That's the concept of maghfira. So when we want maghfira, what we are asking for is that our sins are protected so that they do not harm us. Our sins are covered up. Our sins are locked, if you like, okay? They're just put aside so that we are not harmed by the consequences of our own sins. So that's what istighfara means, to ask Allah for that level of protection. Istighfar is done by all by, by any, in any time of the day and by any wording that indicates it. Of the most important and simple wordings, Astaghfirullah. This is something that is well known. But also of the ways that Maghfirah is asked is by asking Allah through one of His names linked with Maghfirah. And there are at least five such names in the Quran that are linked with the concept of Allah's Maghfirah. Of these names are Ghaffar, and Ghafoor, and Ghafiru Dhamb, and Wasi'u Al Maghfira, and Dhu Al Maghfira. These are five, at least five, there's more than this. These are five names in the Quran that if we want Maghfira, Allah has told us use these names. Ya Ghaffar, Ighfirli. Ya Ghafoor, Ighfirli. Ya Wasi'u Al Maghfira. Ya Ghafiru Al Dhamb. Ya Dhal Maghfira. All of these, and also there's, you can add sixth as well, Khairul uh, Ghafirin, the best who also does Maghfirah. Allah mentions all of these names so that we use those names when we ask for Maghfirah. And these names are in each way beautiful in their own ways. So Ghaffar means the one who continuously covers up the sin, no matter how many sins we have done. Ghaffar does not count the quantity of times he keeps on doing it. Ghafoor does not look at how large the sin is, he can still cover it up. So Ghaffar is for quantity, Ghafoor is for quality, Ghafoor is for size. And Allah is both Ghaffar and Ghafoor. Ghafiru them, the one who forgives the sins. Dhul Maghfira, the one who owns Maghfira. Okay? Wasi'u al Maghfira, the one whose Maghfira is vast. Khairul Ghafirin, no one can do Maghfira better than Allah. 
So these are all names that we should use. Also, there are specific du'as that the Prophet ﷺ taught us. And I'll just mention two of them. Time is always against working against us. Uh, the, the number one du'a that we should all memorize, it is called Sayyidul Istighfar. It is called the queen of all du'a of istighfar. And it is recorded in Bukhari and uh, Muslim. And it is a, a whole paragraph of dua. I've actually, when we did Sahih Bukhari class here at Epic, I went over it, you know, in the entire detail. Uh, that in summary, what it does is that it acknowledges, the servant acknowledges that, Oh Allah, I come to you as a servant and a sinner. Oh Allah, I confess that you have given me plenty Every blessing I have is from you. And I confess, O oh Allah, that I have still sinned. Abu'u laka bi ni'matik wa abu'u bi dhambi. I'm not going to go over word for word, it's too long, but you can go over it. The concept is you express your servitude to Allah. You express, O oh Allah, you are my Lord. You created me. You are the one that is in charge of me. There is no God other than you. I admit, O oh Allah, every blessing I have is from you. And I confess that I have fallen short and I have sinned. So, O oh Allah, in light of my testimony that you are the Rabb. O oh Allah, acknowledging you have given me everything. O oh Allah, admitting I have fallen short, I still turn to you. Because the dua says, none can forgive other than you. So memorize that Sayyidul Istighfar. And the second uh, dua that is very beautiful and important, reported in the Mustadrak of Al-Hakim and other books of Hadith as well, that a man came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and said, Ya Rasulullah, I have done a sin. I have been destroyed. I've done something, khalas, I'm gone. He didn't mention what it was. So the Prophet Sallallahu said, repeat after me. And this dua is a beautiful dua. That it was that, O oh Allah, inna maghfirataka awsa'u min dhunubi wa inna rahmataka arja indi min amali. Okay? That, inna rahmataka, inna maghfirataka awsa'u min dhunubi. Your forgiveness is larger than my sin. Inna maghfirataka awsa'u min dhunubi wa inna rahmataka arja indi min amali. And your mercy is more hopeful for me than all the deeds that I have done. You can memorize this in English. It doesn't matter. The languages are all the same when it comes to dua. Oh Allah, your maghfirah is larger than my sins. Simple, right? Oh Allah, your maghfirah is larger than my sins. And your rahmah inspires me more than my own actions. Simple, right? That's the dua in Arabic. I translate into English. Oh Allah, your maghfirah is larger than my sins. And oh Allah, your rahmah is giving me more hope than anything that I can do. So forgive me. So the man said it. The Prophet said, say it again. He said it. The Prophet said, say it again. He said it. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, you may stand and leave. Allah has forgiven you. Simple dua to the point. Oh Allah, my deeds cannot compete. Your maghfirah is needed for my sins and your rahmah is needed for my mercy. My deeds are not going to give me that. When you acknowledge that, then you have perfected the uh, istighfar. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ghafoor and the ghaffar and the dhul maghfira and the wasu'ul maghfira and the khayrul ghafirin and the ghafirul dham to forgive our sins. We confess to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that every blessing we have is from Him and we admit we have fallen short in our service to Him and we have committed plenty of sins and we beg Allah azza wa for forgiveness because none forgives other than Allah. So we ask Allah to forgive us our sins. My beloved brothers and sisters, Nuh السلام, told his people to do istighfar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah will give sustenance, Allah will open the doors of opportunities, Allah will give children, Allah will give wealth, Allah will shower rain and everything positive, everything good will be given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just say this one word, Astaghfirullah. Just Repent to Allah, just ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to seek istighfar 70 to 100 times daily. My dear brothers and sisters, turn back to Allah and see what Allah does for you. Come to Allah. Allah loves you. And when you remember Allah, Allah remembers you. When you seek istighfar, Allah loves it. Allah forgives all the sins. 
and when you continuously repent and seek istighfar and do righteous deeds allah even convert your sins into good deeds so just turn towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you need money if you need a job if you need a house if you need a car if you need wealth then seek istighfar repent to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah will open the doors of opportunities for you just try it increase your istighfar and work hard put your effort allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will facilitate everything allah will make things easy for you allah will show you allah will guide you to the correct path may allah make our tongue moist in the remembrance of allah may allah let us do istighfar on a daily basis may allah increase our wealth and may allah make us from the righteous worshipers of the sunnah help us build an islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description